friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I have some amazing new food finds for you. I shopped at two stores so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos per week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost almost 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us there are also down in that description box. So let me flip you around because we have a big, big grocery haul with lots of new food finds. So the first part of my haul is from Trader Joe's. I took Lola to chemo this week and there is a Trader Joe's about five minutes away. So I stopped in there, grabbed some favorites and some new food finds. So let me show you what I picked up. First thing are chicken gyoza pot stickers. I thought this would be a super easy lunch or dinner for us. We could throw these on a sheet pan in the oven, put them into the air fryer. And I remember these being really, really good. It has been a hot minute since I had them, but I remember them being really good. And then one of our favorite things is the cauliflower gnocchi. We absolutely love this. Sorry if you can hear Lola drinking in the background. She's extra thirsty from chemo. So I did pick up just one bag. I thought about getting two, but I decided to go ahead and go with one. And then I really like the Trader Joe's refried beans, the traditional style. They're seasoned, so they have some really good flavor to them. And these are fat-free refried beans. And then I did pick up a couple of cans of sliced olives. We always like to have olives on hand for tacos, spaghetti, and it's just convenient when they're already sliced up. And then this is a new food find. You can see I already munched on some of this. This was my snack while I waited for Lola. This is the, is it cachio e pepe? Cachio e pepe? Basically means cheese and pepper. These are corn and rice snacks. 10 out of 10. These are super, super, super delicious. So I had these as a snack. I did pick up a bag. I did pick up a bag of teeny tiny avocados. I love Trader Joe's little mini avocados. They're perfect for one serving or two servings. So they don't go bad and they don't get brown. I also picked up some mint because I've been craving mint in my water. You know, I have that little diffuser glass pitcher from Walmart. I'll link it down below for you. I put lemons in there and I thought lemon and mint together would be really, really delicious. I asked for some Trader trail mix or something that he can munch on at night. Well, they didn't have any trail mix without almonds and he's allergic to almonds, but I did find this many things snack mix. So this says honey roasted peanuts, spicy and honey butter, cereal squares, corn sticks, pretzels, and savory bread chips. So kind of like Chex Mix. So I grabbed that for him and I thought that he could test that out, see if he likes that. Candy ginger, I always get the uncrystallized. Well, I like the crystallized too, but ginger is fantastic for digestion. So I will eat one of these little pieces after a heavy meal and it just really helps me digest my food a lot better. These are so affordable at Trader Joe's and another 10 out of 10. Both of these, highly recommend. I also grabbed the soft and juicy mangoes. I like these a lot. I love mango. I hate cutting up mango. So these just do the trick. Such a great snack. I did have actually one of these, one of these, and some of these little cheese puffs for a quick snack. I also saw a new flavor of the Bear Bells. I don't love the Bear Bells. Sometimes they hurt my stomach, but we're going to try this out. This is the hazelnut nougat plant-based protein, protein bar. So it says 15 grams of protein and no added sugar. So I'm gonna test it out. I always like to try any new protein bar that hits the market. Two huge bags of popcorn. You know Troy's on his popcorn kick. You know I love popcorn. There was literally a lady in the aisle that grabbed six bags of this. So I thought it's gotta be good if she's buying six bags. This is the organic olive oil popcorn and then they had a movie theater popcorn as well which is more a buttery one so i'm gonna have troy test both of those out i think i've had this one before and really liked it i also got a bottle of kombucha i really like kombucha for its probiotics prebiotics and the fermentedness of the kombucha it's really good for your gut and like i said sometimes i get a bit of weird digestive issues so i grabbed one bottle of the ginger aid i'll just take a few sips here and there as needed and then we got the mother load of dog treats so first they had these reef and beef Treats, these are crab meal and beef recipe. I picked up 
two bags of those. My dogs really like these chicken recipe jerky sticks and these chicken and brown rice sticks. So I grabbed one bag of each of those. This is another treat that they really like, these Better Than Leftovers. They are perfect size, and it's a collection of soft baked dog treats inspired by your dinner table. Roast beef, gravy, cheese, sweet potato, and apple pie. And again, my dogs love those. And they also love these chucuteri. How fun are these? Cheddar cheese, salami, provolone cheese, and prosciutto flavored treats. I also grabbed some multigrain crackers for myself. I've been having those packets of flavored tuna with crackers for lunch. It's been one of my go-tos. And then I picked up a jar of their organic tomato basil marinara. This rivals Rayos and is a quarter of the price. And actually Rayos I think is 90 calories. This one's only 60 and it's organic and it is delicious. Now that I think about it, I should have picked up more than one jar, but I definitely added that to my cart. Got some flowers for my island. I thought that would be a pretty introduction as we move into spring. I love their fully cooked, fully seasoned chicken meatballs. I just throw these in my fridge and they make in my freezer and they make such a quick lunch or dinner. You can make spaghetti out of these. I like to eat them all by themselves. They are delicious. And then I did pick up some organic pasta for Troy. I've been making him spaghetti a lot to have. I haven't been eating it, but he likes to have it made and ready in the fridge. And it was such a good deal for the organic spaghetti. I did go ahead and grab a pack of their organic brown rice cakes. I like these thin ones. These are perfect with peanut butter. You know, I put my American dream nut butter on there. I also like these with those little packets of tuna fish. And you can have, I think, three or four of them. Six of them. Six of them for 110 calories. And I think it's like three points. I usually have like three or so with my tuna or one or two with peanut butter. So I picked those up. Chicken fried rice. This is something we love. And it's kind of something we haven't had in a while. So I grabbed one bag. And then I actually needed roast beef for a recipe. And Trader Joe's has such high quality meat. So I picked up their seasoned roast beef. And then my cheese staples. Number one is the Jarlsberg Light. Swiss cheese. This is only 50 calories a slice and it's delicious. If you love Swiss cheese, this is amazing. You cannot tell the difference. You cannot tell that it's reduced fat. So I love that. I also love their light shredded mozzarella and their light three cheese blend. They're my favorite, favorite cheeses. So that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. So let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the grocery haul. So here is the haul from our local fries, which is a Kroger store. I have an exciting new food find. I actually am really, really excited about that. And then of course, all the rest of our groceries for the week. So I did pick up some almond milk. I never use almond milk really, but sometimes it's great for baking just to save on calories and points. And there was a coupon for if you spent $15 on the Simple Truth brand, which is their fancy brand at Kroger stores, you got $3 off. So I did pick up a few Simple Truth things to meet that threshold. And one of them was their unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I picked up some Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. This is for a recipe. I looked at all the different low carb wraps and this one actually has the best macros, fiber, protein, calories, fat, so I picked those up. I got these a couple weeks ago and love them. These are the Back to Nature Crispy Wheat Crackers. These are basically a wheat thin dupe. I think these ones are so much better and much better ingredients. I also got some more Lesser Evil Popcorn because you already know I love it, Troy loves it. I'm gonna see if he likes those two from Trader Joe's, and if not, then we both really like this one. I also got him some granola bars. These are like the Cascadian Farm vanilla chip bars. He really likes those ones. And and this is the Simple Truth brand, and this way he can take those when he's out and about, and it's just a good snack for him. Here's the new food find, you guys. I'm so excited. I had to control myself from buying all three of them. This is from the brand PB2, you know, the same brand that makes the powdered peanut butter. This is apple cinnamon muffin mix. They also have brownies and chocolate chip cookies. So if this is good, you can bet I'll be picking up the other two and we'll test those out. 210 calories for two muffins, but look at this, 14 grams of protein. So I am super excited for these. We will definitely use these in a video so that we can do a taste test. First impression, and like I said, if I like it, we'll be picking up the brownies and the cookies. I did get two bags of the Kroger sugar-free chocolate chips. I did place an order on Lakanto's website and I ordered their chocolate chips. These don't have as good of ingredients as Lily's and Lakanto, but they'll do in a pinch and I need them for a couple of recipes and that way I'll have some on hand until my Lakanto order gets here. And and I did get a pound of Simple Truth 99% ground turkey. 
I had a coupon for a dollar off, so I'm just going to throw that in my freezer. Some canned and jarred goods. First, beef consomme. This is for a dinner recipe. I did grab a big can of manwich. Troy loves sloppy joes, and I thought we could just have this in our pantry for a quick and easy dinner. And then pickles. I was so excited. I found the no sugar added bread and butter chips. I'm obsessed with these, and I have not been able to find them, so I was so excited to see those. And then we also really love these little whole sweet petite pickles. They're so good. We like to put these on charcuterie boards or just eat them as a snack. I needed some fully cooked bacon for a recipe. And then I grabbed a couple more of my tuna packet. I shared with you guys that I picked up the sweet and spicy one at Target. It is so good. It's so good. It is sweet with just a little spice. And you know I don't like spicy. So if you are like me, try this one out. It's super good. And then the lemon pepper actually is my very, very favorite. And then two packs of my favorite dip mix. This is the Laura Scudder's Green Onion Dip Mix. I love this and I thought we would have that on hand to make some dip for vegetables. We have the mother load of cereals because all of the cereal from Kashi was buy five, get a dollar off per box. So it made it only $3.79 a box and Troy loves his Kashi cereal. So this is a new one to us. This is the peanut butter crunch. I see my friend Nikki over at Nikki Gets Fit use this all the time on yogurt bowls. So I grabbed it for that. And then of course Troy can eat that as well, but it does have 10 grams of protein. And then this is his favorite Kashi cereal, the Toasted Berry Crisp. So I actually grabbed three boxes of that. And then this is a new one to him. I'm hoping he likes it. This is like shredded wheat, organic island vanilla. I also thought that sounded really good. A graham cracker pie crust for my meal prep. Definitely stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinners and Monday's meal prep. You're not going to want to miss it. I needed some flour so I picked up the organic Simple Truth and then also some regular powdered sugar and I got the Simple Truth again for that coupon. I did get one container of my favorite cottage cheese which is good culture. I do have a container in my fridge already. That's actually what I'm going to have for a snack after filming this grocery haul with some fruit on it. And then you know we always have sour cream on hand and we are completely out. I also grabbed some regular brown sugar to have on hand for baking. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. We go through a lot of milk with all of his cereal. I also grabbed some more egg whites. I actually enjoyed having egg whites on hand rather than wasting the yolk of an egg. Whenever I make an egg scramble, I always do two egg whites and one whole egg, saving on calories, saving on fat, but still getting in all of the protein. So I decided to pick up a big container. This is an interesting purchase, but I grabbed a ginormous can and a small can of Vandy Camp's pork and beans. I am making a baked bean recipe and it called for this is the base. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. We love, love baked beans. Some vinegar. I want to use this to wash my fruit. I heard that it's really good to do a vinegar water mixture. It kind of gets rid of all the dirt and potential bugs on fruit. And you know, I eat a lot of berries. So I'm going to try that little hack out. Plus having vinegar on hand for cleaning and things is great. And then for produce, I grabbed some mini cucumbers. No surprise to anybody. I also grabbed two more packs of raspberries, some angel hair coleslaw for my lunch meal prep, a big thing of blueberries. These were on sale for $2.69, which is a great deal. Some celery for celery and peanut butter, green onions, and then a big, huge pack of strawberries. I need it for my breakfast meal prep. And then we always eat a lot of fruit every single week. We go through so much. So what you don't see is a case of water and three 12 packs of Diet Coke for Troy. But that is the rest of my grocery haul for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinners and meal prep. So here's what's on the menu for the week. I actually am heading out to San Diego on Thursday. So Troy's planning on going to dinner with our neighbor on Saturday. And then Sunday, I am still in San Diego. I actually fly back Sunday evening. But it, for Monday, I'm making French dip roll-ups. You're actually going to see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so definitely stay tuned for that. Tuesday, we'll do leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making those homemade baked beans. I figured that would be something that would be easy for Troy to warm up while I'm gone. And then Thursday and Friday, he'll finish up all of the leftovers while I'm in San Diego. And then here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. I can't wait for this. For breakfast, I'm making strawberry oatmeal cookies. I want to be able to take some of these with me on my trip for a healthy snack. Lunch is going to be satay chicken bowls. Also excited for that. And then for a snack, I'm making chocolate mint 
Nanamo, Nanamo bars in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So you guys will have a really fun St. Patty's Day recipe that's healthy, low in calories, and low in points. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Trader Joe's, Kroger, or Fry's, and all those new food finds. I can't wait to try them all out. Super excited. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your bell on because grocery hauls happen every Saturday and I upload five videos per week. Down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely come join us there. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.